This short analysis will assume you have experienced the entirety of Amori and may fully spoil the game. As such, it will also feature some of the themes of Amori, suicide, depression, and grief, as well as child abuse. If you are sensitive to these topics, it may not be safe to continue watching. Furthermore, this video is only a small snippet of a much larger Amori analysis and review video, which will be linked in the description. If you like this video, then please consider checking out the rest of the analysis. When I first saw Kel at the door during the first day, the smile on my face went from ear to ear. While he was probably my least favorite of the cast in Headspace purely based off his immature nature, there just seemed something different about him in reality, and I was right. Kel is quite literally the spark for the entire story. He is the sole reason that you leave the safety and comfort of your house on the first day. He is the first one that is there for you, and if you pay enough attention, has really always been. During the first real gameplay segment of the game, where you play hide and seek, it is almost always Kel that people find first, but why is this? Well, he left himself out in the open intentionally right next to you, so that he could help you look for everyone else, so that you wouldn't have to do it alone. Such a simple gesture in the beginning of the game has profound implications once you reach the end. Kel does literally the same thing when he knocks on your door, leaving himself vulnerable and open, ready to lend a helping hand to a friend so that they wouldn't have to face the world alone. That is simply just breathtaking storytelling and foresight. Even when it comes to Hero, Kel was the one who did the same thing. He was the one who brought him out of the house. If Sonny had a brother like Kel, who sometimes persists to the point of annoyance, would he have lived in headspace for so long? However, like Hero, Kel is not just a robot who is always there to help. Mari's death hurt him too. He was just a young kid, afraid to step on toes, and had no idea how to handle the situation, so he took comfort in playing sports and hanging out with his other friends. Just like everyone else, he ran away. But, just like Aubrey and Hero, he is kind, and does not want to leave his friends alone anymore. He wants to reach out to Sunny, even if it may hurt. Hell doesn't want him to be alone. He is kind.